Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 live stream. This is my first look at the Clint Shield Railroad which has just released only a couple of minutes ago actually uh, onto Train Sim World 2. I'll be in the chat in a second, obviously if you are watching on the rerun, which I know a lot of you are, do skip a few minutes ahead until we actually do begin as I'm setting it all up. But yeah, thanks all for coming in at this late hour if you are in and whenever you are watching, hopefully everyone's doing well. I've just loaded up the game. So it's my first time seeing this. Uh, I'm just going to get this all set up and then I'll be into the chat. But hopefully everyone is doing well. Oh wow, we've got a lot of people in already. I have to scroll up the chat. Uh, but do bear with me whilst I pop all this in. Um, last time it didn't come up that well. Maximum games. No, it's back now. Train to World 2. That's weird. Right. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. In a bit, Richard, mate. Right, let's see. We've got Amtrak, Transport 7, President Biden, Amela, Devon, uh, its sites, Mr. Adams, Dr. Steve, New Model Bus, Richard, and uh, uh, Chubby. How's everyone doing? Anyway, let, let's let's go. Let's try it. Okay, um, so no sort of tutorial? Usually, yeah, we'll do that one, I suppose. Hey Amanda, Gaming for Life, how are you two? I'm still just setting this up, so do bear with me. Anyway, this is the introduction. Good to hear, Amanda, I'm good. Uh, there you go. Lovely. Welcome to the Cuntshield Railroad, here we go. Hello Matthew, how are you? Not yet, Richard, not yet. Welcome to Train Sim Listen World to 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. Uh, good, good to hear. We're going for life working and uh, continue that. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top more? right corner of the screen. About an hour and a half, two hours. Besides, hello Benjamin, how are you? It is necessary to be fully aware of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up. It's a bit weird the way it makes you do all this, doesn't it, again, every time. Anyway, it's fairly simple, isn't it? No, I don't want to do that. Right, let's do Besides this. Besides operating trains, there... Hello, Michael, how are you? Oh, hello. This is one of many train. interactives to be discovered, but not Cut all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Uh, pop this into the Discord server. It's not in already. Obviously, thanks to everyone who is in already. It is greatly appreciated. I'm just popping it into our Discord server. And then I'll be fully underway with the stream. But yeah, hopefully everyone is doing well. There you go. Good to transport, I'm good. Right, here we go. Look at this, the F7. We're getting into it. A lot of time will be spent <sighs> operating trains. So when this. ready, sit in the Look engineer's seat. The horn. Oh, yes. That is a meaty horn. Look at that. Let's can we try and get up to 20 likes? You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. That is, sounds really good. Uh, so this is all our tasks. That's what it wants us to do. A heads up display has appeared on the right hand side of the screen. This is a guide to all the get into it, information yeah. needed to operate this train. I'm just going on the Arose line also. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The any. red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. The horn's good, isn't it? So who's actually got this already? Who's downloading this it? This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. Yep, I think we know that. Right. This is the power display. A number will indicate no what position the power control is in. I wonder the horn. Keep down the horn. The horn's great. These are brake oh, indicators. Come on. They show the state of the various brake systems, nice allowing with independent us. Hello, management of them. You got it as well, awesome. It's telling me how to play the game. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. Look at that. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when so they're going to So apparently this is an effect. M5 horn. This is, I think someone actually did mention it in Some the chat. Some of these displays can nice be hidden soundtrack. by the settings menu for a more challenging experience. And obviously, yeah, we do actually have our merch, which actually does have an M7 This train is ready M7, to go. F7 Pull the indicated it. handle towards you to get moving. Also, we've got the mug and the top with the F7 on it. Do go and check it out. Hello, Harrison, David, New Middle Bus. Uh, you're good. Good to hear, David. Are you in England? I'm in England. 
Uh, move that. Oh, hello. Okay, well, that, that's that. <laughs> Here we go. Are we going? We're going. We're moving. The Clinchfield Railroad is both an originator of coal tonnage and a bridge line for manifest Look at this. traffic. Wow. So obviously you get two um, coal hoppers. You get the sort of bigger one and you get the smaller one. This Steel model is a classic electromotive F7 diesel electric. The Clinchfield Railroad operates 24 of the cab equipped A unit and awesome. 20 of the booster B unit. Booster B unit, so. It's very bright, isn't it, in the cab? That the cab lights are on. Well, they are. Let's have a little look. We've got engine start, uh, emergency engine stop. Anything we can do here? Uh, isolation valve. Where's the thing you can change it to? Obviously, manual on there. This is stream. Is that? Yeah, it is. Yeah. He hates the horn. Yeah, there's a fair bit you can do on here. You can change all this and that sort of stuff. Signal bell. That's quite cool. A little sort of valve to get that open. We can do a fair bit on it. Anything on here? Nothing on there. Uh, anything here? We can do a bit here. Well, we've got all the bits down here. Headlights, I think we need them on, don't we? Let's get that on. Sure is, David, yeah. Shall we touch that Train bed, Simul 2 allows you to ride and operate from a selection of camera views. Does it? Let's take a look now while exploring this train. Yeah, explore the camera. There you go, done it. Uh, done it, come on. We've done it. We're next we're next in. There. Back in. That bring him up. Hello Worthen, how are you? What next? Come on, I want the next objective. I want to get out of this and get in the next one. We've got a tunnel coming up. Where are we going on this? You've only explored a small area oh. here, so let's take a look at what else oh, there we is go. to enjoy. What else Welcome is there? to the Clinchfield Railroad. The Clinchfield is one of America's most famous and iconic railroads. Thanks to its rugged, remote, or inspiring scenery and tough mountain operations, awesome. the Clinchfield is often called the Rio Grande of the East. The north end of the Clinchfield is in the heart of Appalachian coal country, and you'll be serving mines, tipples, and loaders along the railroad's main line and branches. The Clinchfield is also a busy artery yep, for manifest freight, mate. moving between America's Midwest and South. As an engineer on the Clinchfield, you'll face the challenges of steep grades and heavy tonnage. Along the way, don't forget to repair broken fences, yep. clear fallen logs, fallen refill logs, fire, buckets, fire buckets, and bag up spilled coal. Up spilled Whether coal, operating on the main line or working on the branch lines, you choose the pace. Nice, Welcome to the legendary Clinchfield Railroad. Awesome. Okay, uh, that's the Clinchfield Railroad introduction. Uh, the F7 one, let's do that one. That'll be quite important. This is in North Carolina. Oh, right, Amtrak. It's on the App. Well, it's in the Appalachians, isn't it? So yeah, East Coast sort of way. Yeah. So what we're going to do? We will do the tutorials. We won't do the SD40 one as we already know about the SD40. Uh, but once we've done this introduction, we'll then hop into a service. Um, probably the Florida Perishable. Awesome of us. Nice, Amella. Welcome to engineer training. Here you'll be taken through the operation Look of a classic way. electromotive division F7 diesel electric locomotive. Yeah. This is cool, isn't it? During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical locomotive controls and freight operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. Climb aboard, let's climb. Look at this proper climb up to the cab, isn't it? Look at this, I'm a mountain up here. Take a seat in the engineer's there position. Go. Morning, Pete, how this are you, mate? This is where you'll be spending... The fuel pump will need to be right. closed to allow fuel to reach the locomotive. Yeah, that one. The engine is currently shut down and will need to be started hold before it for 10 progressing. Seconds, heck. Press and hold the engine start button to activate it. Oh, holding that down. We should hear the engine turn on. For 10 seconds we have to do this. The isolation valve is currently in the start position. Use nice, the indicated uh, control to Hello, set David. the isolation valve to the run. Nice, portion. David. How are you doing, David? So that's a run. What next? The rotor valve allows the operator to set the brake mode to match the required operation of the locomotive. So that's right. The reverser determines the direction of travel. So that's forward. The transition lever is used to control the flow of the electrical current to the traction motors. 
which is set based on the movement the locomotive is currently performing. Okay, so we need it to be a series parallel shunt. As we are performing switching duties around a yard, we will... There you go, done that. The unit selector is used by the engineer to specify how many locomotives are in the current lash-up. Use the mm -hmm. indicated lever to set the number of locomotives in this formation. So we've got two in here. So you can see two. The generator field switch will need Hello, to be Hello Berlin set. Bear, how are you? Use the indicated switch to activate the generator field now. Can do. We've got 46 people in, so thanks all for coming in at this late hour. Obviously we'll be showcasing Clinchfield uh, basically throughout the day. So if you do want to see more, do subscribe. And obviously do check out our merch, which actually we have the M7 on the top and on a mug. Obviously, there's a link in the uh, description. Anyway, let's re uh, release the brakes. No, not that one, that one. Release. For this introduction, we will be performing switching duties and handling the loading of hoppers. Okay, I don't know how long this one's You are be. now ready. Here we go. Let's call it your sheet. The bell sounds cool as well. Let's get the headlight on. Got a red light here. Hang on, I'm not getting through there. What's going on there? It's all good. It's all good. Right, go again. No, no, no hang on. Why are you going back? Ah, oh, blimmin' it. What are we done now? We're going back. Go forward. Why are you going back? Blimmin' it. We just come to a stop and then we start going backwards. Good start, isn't it? We've already broken it somehow. Here's a new DLC. I think we might just get into the service. <laughs> We've already said my broken it. What if we put it into reverse and then try? Well, the it goes. Just... No, it goes that way. Never see that yet. I think we'll probably leave the tutorials. We seem to be going back for some reason. Oh no, that's why. Right. Now that should work now. Forward. Not not that way. No, 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 not that way. There you go, that's gonna work. See, I had it out, I have it under control. Now it's mine, which should be using it much longer. <laughs> Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the handle into the braking range. Hey George, how are you mate? Oh, I'll say about that, I'll be alright for now. Move that forward. No, we're going back this way, get speed. Yes, we will do a full line run from north to south, or south to north, um, after, uh, once we get this tutorial done. We'll get this done, and then we're, uh, how long is this one? Uh, there's a fair bit to do. Now, you know what, let's get on to a full line run now. We don't want to bore everyone with a mini tutorial. Hello Jan, how are you? We'll do the horn in a second. Right, anyway, let's do it. Yeah, it's a bit late, innit? Explore. Uh, how long was this tutorial? That was 10 minutes, too long. Timetable. Uh, we'll do spring clear. Be quite nice. F7, of course. Um, what was the uh, northbound? That's the one there. We'll do that one. Go to bed now. I ain't going to bed, not for another couple of hours. Hello, random Australian rail fan, how are you? Punk the horn. So you can stream longer tomorrow? We'll still be streaming longer tomorrow. And yeah, can we try and get up to 40 likes? Obviously, thanks everyone for joining us uh, at this layout. Run this hotshot service named the Florida Perishable northbound as far as Elkhorn. So we'll do this, and then we'll see what we do after this. Uh, let's see, right, how do we set this up? That's just a big question. 
what we do is we will set that to freight. Uh, how many units do we have? We got four, four units. So we set that to four. Uh, we can release that. See, my first time setting it up, all right. Uh, really, I'll, I'll try to, Rich, but it's going quick. So, yeah, can we get 50 likes? Oh, nice, random. I need 630, eh? Uh, release. No, not release. It's my first time doing this. Run in. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, we need to come to here and we need to pop all these bits in. Headlights to bright. Uh, get all these bits on. Uh, generator failed. We need that. Engine run. We need that. Number lights, we need them on. Class light, we'll probably turn them off actually. So it's fairly similar to the usual setup. That's already on automatic. Uh, this is already to run. So we need to set that to series parallel. I will set that to forward. And then we should be able to get going. Not back. The back's not where we're going. No, not that way. Forward. We're moving, we are moving, the train is moving. How have we done this? Uh oh, no, we'll slip. It's all good, it's all good, I've got it under control. Blimey, I can't remember. Oh, the, what about the points? Points are good. That could have been a tragic start. Okay, first time on the Clint Shield Road. This is a full line run, this is the Florida Perishable. Not sure how long it's going to take, um, I don't know, but we're doing it. Horn, yes, we need horn, oh, of course we do. And headlights as well, since we are. Hello, uh, Jeff, how are you? Hello, user, hello, observador. Look at this. So far, so good, user. And what's the date? Mm, okay, they could have made it since it was actually 1980. It's all good though. Let's get the windows open. We've got to see. Windows open. That one there. Look at this. Proper line run. Hello Warren, I got the notification on my phone that you're streaming. I just finished my shift and parked my bus. Headed home to watch your stream. Sounds good Warren mate. Yeah, it's good, isn't it, Jake? The light on, yeah, I think we've got the number lights on. Yeah, they're on. So we got two A units and two B units. I think that's, I think these are B units and these are A units. Blimey, that's my plan for this band, mate. So what's everyone think so far? We've got 61 people in. So thanks all for coming in. We will actually be showing this off throughout um, throughout the uh, day. So if you do want to see more, do subscribe. And we even actually do have our merch store, which we are actually selling an F7 top, which is limited edition, as well as an F7 mug. Do go and check out, it's looking really nice. Are you enjoying Clinchville? So far, so good. I mean, I've only just got on it, but yeah, it's looking good so far. Uh, good to hear, uh, Jake, I'm good. I'm, I'm not sure, Jake. <laughs> it's been going so quick, the chat. Yes, yeah, so this is the F7. Sort of the main, sort of iconic clinch with locomotive. Probably be on this most of the time. You're getting it tomorrow, nice Norfolk. Look at this, though. And I believe when the train does go in a tunnel, it won't kick us back in. It's uh, what they sort of added to this route. Look at this coming along here. Ice and TGV on it, I'm sure we can do that. So what are we hauling? I think it's fruit, isn't it? Fruit and all that. Insulated, yeah, fruit. We've got the fruit train today. Let's get them on. Ok, 
can you show us the map? That's a good point. Yes, the map. Uh, obviously, this is Elkhorn down. No, this is um, Dan, I think, down here. Um, and then we're going up to here, which is Elkhorn City. Obviously, you've got the all the branches. I think that's the McClure one. You've got the Greenbrier one. Uh, the Nora, and I can't remember the other one, but you've got all the branch lines coming off here. So it's almost the whole network you're getting with the pack. <laughs> it's Trevor. Isn't it? Probably does David. We've got 22 miles. Well, that probably more than that. So does anyone know how long a full line one actually takes? Because I haven't really sort of paid attention to the sort of live stream and stuff that I've done on it. Is it about an hour? I look very blue, don't I? What's causing that? It's up to seven. Keep my headphones on. Not blimey, uh, Jay, that'd be annoying, wouldn't it? That leg will take, it probably will take a long time, user, but I mean, I'm not in a rush. I'm going up to 25, so it is a bit faster than the Erosa line. One hour, 30 minutes, so it took them about an hour and six minutes, I think. So we'll say about an hour and 15 then, so we'll see if I make mistakes. Awesome, David. You know, how you doing, Master or something? the points are set so we'll double check so I think we're going to be going into a big tunnel shortly and I know at some point it is going to change sort of the transmission or something and it's like it screws you up or something like that you have to wait and see I think we've got in the right set now series parallel I think that's correct and if we want brakes we need to set it into dynamic good to my still southern yeah, it's good, isn't it, Urban? Oh, we've got the tunnel coming up. I'm going to ask for sleep. <laughs> this is a big tunnel coming up. Look at this. Fair enough, Master of Southern. Right like down for a bit. I'm still going up a fairly steep gradient. Let's get this on, so it's a bit uh, easier for you guys to see in the stream. It does look great, Hunter, doesn't it? Oh, blimey, uh, Jay. My plan is PS4 today and tomorrow on Saturday, start my first stream. Oh, nice, David. The, okay, that's the change in it in transmission. So we'll put that down to zero, I don't know if we have to do that. So let's just change the sort of transmission, I believe. Uh, this is already out, Jeff. Yeah, this is out. Well, for UK on console, it's out. Speed's going up again. We are on a downhill gradient now. Climbing. There is a helicopter outside and it's hurting my ears. Oh, that's not good. I mean, where I live, we usually get the helicopters landing on the field at night, which is um, very down. It's the ambulances. Well, this is on the PlayStation 5 and we're running at 60 FPS. But yeah, on PlayStation 4, it might be a bit sore. Mm. Hello, Gaz, how are you? Do you know if they're going to fix the glitch on the road where you can't get in your truck? Um, I believe so, Gaz. So these things will be sorted out at some point. Hopefully, soon enough. Whoa. Jolted back to the fourth then. Yeah, will do, David, once I'm finished with this, mate. It sort of seems to be jolting forward a fair bit, it's almost like we're being pushed. Right, we need to get the brakes on, so we need to change that to braking. And if we change, use the throttle, that should then now be the brakes. I oh, know, they take a bit of time to kick in, if I remember correctly, I think Matt was saying that. 
I might have a bit. Yeah, it'll fly by. There you go, you can see the amps now on there. So if you use the throw, it should now be the brakes. A bit confusing, but it's just the way it works. Hopefully. Yeah, you can hear the brakes coming on. Very scenic, yeah. How much is this? It's 22.49, I believe. If you've got PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live Gold, you do get a discount. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, Gaz. How are you? Almost out of the tunnel. We're in a tunnel. And I believe, yes, uh, we can actually... No, we can't yet. I was going to say we can get out into free camera, but we can't. But I believe when the train does go into the tunnel on this route, it won't kick you back into the cab. Uh, you can just sort of stay in the outside view. There's just so many tunnels on this route. Yeah, no, I'm not David off, mate. Get that on a tad. That's coming along here, proper floor in it. Probably not good to be floor in it. Oh, that brakes done good there. So one down, one in, one oh three gradient. It feels weird to be sort of applying the throttle to brake. It's weird. So one of this beats sand patch braid in terms of how scenic it is. That'd <laughs> be cool, Jake. How long is our train today? Oh wow. Okay. Quite a long train. A two pound from David. Much appreciated, mate. Keep working hard, Joe. You're doing a great job. Much appreciated, David. I do need to upload the Discord server, mate. Uh, much appreciated David, and I know David does do bus spotting, train spotting, and soon to be TSW on his channel. So do go and check him out, much appreciated David. What time are we ending up today? I don't know, I mean, I'm not doing anything tomorrow, I, I don't know. Uh oh, brakes on. That's true, I know. Good fly by shot though. Oh, David. Oh, Appreciate it, mate. Yeah, do go and check this channel out. Now release the brakes, just a tad. Oh, Army Jake, what do you like? Get that off now. Hello, um, uh, yeah, Harrow, how, how are you, mate? And another one pound from David off. Much appreciated, mate. Definitely do go and check this channel out. Much appreciated, mate. So where are we now? We're sort of here now. We're going up to Elkhorn City, I believe. Which is all the way up here. So we've got a fair distance to go. It should take about an hour. Oh, one thing I want to do, actually, is um, turn off the objective marker and the stop marker, probably turn them off. Some sort of coal loading facility here. How many carriages you got? Um, we've got 55? No, that's not, no, we got, yeah, 55 um, wagons behind us. <laughs> if you want, Jake. This is awesome. Fairly scenic as well. Yeah, I'm sure I can tune in, uh, David. Hey, 
Hey, you're bright, the man of questions. How you doing, mate? I live near you, Joe. I don't have PayPal, so I can just come to you. Good, what have been there? Good. Opinions on the route so far? It's, um, so far, uh, very good. I mean, I'm really impressed. I mean, it doesn't look like it. I'm very tired. So that's why I'm not really sort of. I thought the track disappeared then. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, very good so far. And another five pound from David. Keep working hard, Joe. You're doing a great job. Much appreciated, David. Uh, David off mate. And yes, I can't stress enough. Do go and check his channel out. He does bus sporting, train sporting, and soon to be TSW, GT Sport, all of it. Much appreciated, David off mate. You like the box cars too? Fair enough. Nice. Uh, let's get that on. What game is hell, Brian? Train some well. Yeah, much appreciate David off, mate. It's all good work. Evening, um, Natalie, how are you doing? And can we get some gradients in the chat for Natalie, who I believe is one of the, um, obviously works at Dovetail Games? How are you doing, Natalie? Every one pound there, uh, David off, donate. Hello Daniel, the only downside to these American freight routes is how slow they go and the distance they travel. Hope you don't have college tomorrow, I don't have college tomorrow, I've got a holiday, so... A late night tonight. But I mean, I don't really mind them going slow, sort of just chilling. Uh, good to see you Nasty. Uh, sounds like you're enjoying the route so far. I'm sure am. It's uh, very scenic, a challenge. Fairly quick as well, quickish. It's um, yeah, really enjoying it. I mean, look at the scenery around there. It's awesome. Let's try and get a flyby. Can't yet. And it sure is, Pete. Get a flyby shot now. I want to get out of the train. I want to get a flyby shot. There you go. I mean, look at this. This is proper, just wilderness. It's lovely. Let's get another shot of this coming around. Yeah, great job, Natalie. So it's lovely. But so much better than the Arosa. I mean, there's mountains and there's trees. And I believe you can actually open these box cars, which actually we could probably try and do on the move. Wait, I'm gonna do this on the move. No, 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 wait. Oh, hello. Yeah, if we do it like that, we can open it up. And go along here. Fair enough, Wervin. That we can open these up. Look at that. Lovely. You could literally have a journey in one of these. Open it up, pop in, chill out. And why not? That's great, but freight isn't my cup of tea. Fair enough, um, special elite. This is a lovely chill stream to watch at this time of night, I must say. Cheers, Natalie. I mean, I'm chilling as well, just um, chatting to everyone. Enjoying the new route. Obviously, I didn't really mu watch much of the dovetail stream or the dovetail video. Obviously, Sam and Matt did. So it's almost my first time just seeing the scenery. It's lovely. The kidnapped car. <laughs> Let's get that down a little bit. We've got 17 miles to Elkhorn City, I believe it is. Although in America you do seem to get a lot of people do that freight hopping thing. It looks quite cool but obviously it's not actually, so you're not really allowed to do it. So we, you know, get on a freight car and have a nice train journey. Looks fun but yeah, it's obviously not really allowed. It's 
nice for you to experience the first unpleasant surprise, sure is, Natalie. Hello, Hentis, downloaded it, had a quick lift, looks great, sure does, Hentis, I can't agree more of you. I mean, I think I probably do prefer this to Sam Pat's grade, the way it's sort of the F, I mean, it's the F7, um, it's single track, which makes it sort of just more sort of, I don't know, cool. And it's clip show. It's funny as that here. We've got 69 people or 68 people in, so thanks all for coming in. Uh, hopefully everyone's just chilling out and obviously thanks all for coming in at this late hour. We have to wait a bit longer, not sure how long my money will go in. Fair enough David. Nice little river down there. Definitely time for another fly by shot. Okay, let's come around here though. Fair enough then. So we got two B units and two A units. Which is that then? I'm planning on getting on the route tomorrow, nice Devon. Uh, we'll get that off now actually. And also we do do train similar to every day and we have been doing it every day for at least an hour since June. So if you do want to see more, do subscribe, it all does help out. Um, yeah, just trying out the new route, it's awesome. Get on a bit. So it's quite weird because the throttle is used for power and also for the brake. So it almost looks like I'm trying to apply power that I'm putting the throttle up, but I'm actually putting the brakes on. Uh, it's this transistor lever here, you change it from braking to say series parallel. It's quite a sort of weird thing, but it's cool, unique. We're getting on the route tomorrow, nice Devon. Oh, you're going to love it. Alright David. to hide on the freight train so they don't have that house and I used to share foods like beans. Yeah. Look at this coming out here, some sort of, was this a, no. I was about to say, is that a lake or something, but it's just sort of the white fence against two of the trees. What am I like? Some sort of baseball uh, pitch there. Oh, look at this coming across here. I think this is one of the branch lines which goes off. I'm not sure what this one's called. Uh, there's the Greenbrier, the McClure, and I don't know the others. But in a second, uh, Damien, I'm not a big fan of freight. Have you noticed about the mastery? I feel that would be nice to have that on South Eastern High Speed and maybe Great Western Express. Well, fair enough, not a big fan of freight. I don't, I don't blame you. Um, fair enough, it's your opinion. Uh, I do think mastery would be nice on South Eastern, maybe Great Western. Well, maybe we'll see it in future. Obviously, they're always improving the game, so. Obviously, it wasn't that long ago we got the mastery on the original route. This map looks like a big tree, I suppose so. There's trees absolutely everywhere. The thing is, I wonder what there's more trees on, Clinchfield or Sam Pat's Gray. Alright, Harry. Yeah, cheers, Amelia. How are you doing, Norfolk? Oh, we've got another tunnel coming up. Oh, that's a bit sort of late loading in. Let's get the light on so it's a bit easier for you guys to see. I want to get the brakes on the tad as well. And yeah, tomorrow, well, today we will be streaming this throughout the day. Um, I think the next live stream after this will be um, 
1pm BST and that'll be around 3 hours long. <laughs> How you doing Pete? Less of the horn people trying to sleep. It's fine Pete, just a little bit of horn. It's, it's fairly quiet. Have no leaves on the line. I really don't mind freight services, I enjoy them quite much. Fair enough, well then. What are you streaming tomorrow? Uh, streaming this, David. Yeah, we'll start at 1pm BST and we'll probably go until around 4. So three hours of Clinchfield action. But the thing is with freight routes, which I like, they're sort of nice ones to stream, because it's nice and chilled out. I can chat to you guys without, you know, having to be distracted on, you know, stopping at the stations and doing whatnot. It's just a really nice chilled out run. And scenic as well. How's my park on City Skylines? I haven't really been on it, uh, Jake. I think it's getting bigger. Why does the train keep jolting backwards? Uh, hang on, what's going on here? No, uh, I think it's just the physics, obviously. We're sort of braking and the train behind us is pushing us sort of, you know, going against each other, so that's why it's jolting forward and back. You're from the US, so I have to wait, but it won't be that long, Norfolk. Won't be long at all, mate. What's this? Another little sort of area where you can do some loading. Got another sort of branch here, I don't know what this one's called, is this the McClurspur? So you've got the one there, you've got the one there, the one there, and the one there. So I mean, it's Clinchfield Railroad is basically a whole network, it's not just one route. And this is tw this was 22.49 if you have PlayStation Plus. A banging price. If anyone else complains about trash, I'm going to tell them to... Alright. Oh, I will, Mella, I will. Time for another fly by shot. Yeah, this is the northbound Florida Perishable, uh, which I remember correctly is basically a fast service. Obviously, back in the day, they didn't have fridges or any, anything like that. So I'm pretty sure these are just cold, sort of. They've got ice in them, sort of the containers. So it's basically a fast service from Florida up to the Midwest. So obviously, in the Midwest, they don't grow fruit. Obviously, all the fruit is grown in the warm south. So they go all the fruit there and then ship it up as quick as they can on this train to the Midwest before it goes out of date. Something like that. I won't be surprised, David. Hello, Michael. How are you? Most of the way so far, we've literally just been using the brakes. It's been mostly downhill. I don't have money so I have to wait till May so I can get more routes, fair enough worth it, it might, it might even be on sale then. I think by then probably Hamburg to Lubeck might be on the on the cards. Hello Liam and Ferro One, how are you? Early access? No, not early access, this is um, came out on the PlayStation 5 around an hour ago. Obviously local time, midnight for consoles and I believe on PC it's 5pm. 5 p.m. Um, BST. It's good in it, Fern. It's good. Good to see you, Michael. I'm good. Is there cab lights? There is cab lights. I don't know where the switch is for it. Where is it? Oh, there it is there. You can get that open whilst we're going along as well. A bit more airing. Got another tunnel coming up, and I want to try it out. I'm pretty certain on this route they were saying if you go into a tunnel it won't kick you back into the cab I don't know if it is going to work though but we'll try it close to 6pm on steam there you go, close to 6pm more cosy here is it going to kick us back in? it does I, I swear one of the things on this route was 
that when you go into a tunnel it doesn't kick you back in because when they were testing it because there's so many little tunnels you, you literally couldn't go in the free cameras it would just keep kicking you back in um, yeah I don't know about that uh, good to you, Liam. I'm watching whilst laying in bed on my iPad. Awesome, Liam. Do you have to juggle two brake types on this train? So far, I've literally used the dynamic brake, and that's it. Obviously, you can change it on the transition lever. Um, yeah, I'm just using the dynamic one, Pete, and it seems to be working, working a treat. Well, that's no, just the way it works, Worthing, because I think for steam, it's sort of in Californian um, West Coast time. Um, and obviously for console they just release at midnight local time, just where it is. Oh nice David. I'm sure you'll work it out. I'm kind of annoyed that the 313 is still not out. Hopefully it'll come out um, soonish. Well not soonish. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Sounds good uh, Natalie. And also one other thing, um, I don't know if it is a problem, uh, but when I was downloading the route, it um, it said Elkhorn to St. Paul. Uh, so yeah, it said Clinchfield Railroad, Elkhorn to St. Paul, and sort of the download bit. I don't know if it does go to St. Paul, uh, but I'm pretty sure it was Elkhorn to Dan. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be, I'm not sure. It is that posh. <laughs> Definitely, Pete. I'm looking forward to the next one. I'll see Hamburg to Lübeck. That's going to be good. I do love my German routes. The longer something takes, the better it might be, yeah. I think one of the things the free one free is probably the livery, because the livery on it is really complex. Obviously, the livery has all the pictures. Um, obviously, I've been on the free one free many times in real life. Uh, obviously, I'm from the south. And it has all the pictures of all the places. It's like Portsmouth, it's got the Spinnaker Tower, it's got Brighton, the Pavilions, it's got Lewis, the Castle. So it's probably really hard to do that. How did you download it? TSW2 to PS5. I went to my library and started the download. Should be done. Because uh, I think the one on TS goes to St. Paul, doesn't it? But Matt was saying there's not really anything at St. Paul, which just made more sense to make it go to Dan. I'll try the route first. I'll slow down a little bit. Look at this, we're proper like in the wilderness, like proper wilderness. Hello, Blue, uh, Blue Ridge, when you come up to a railroad cross in America, we blow two long, one short, one long. Uh, that is true, yeah. I don't know, Metro was saying that before. I think the Chilton main line from London to Banbury would be nice, or did go part way to Banbury. I'm sure they would all be awesome, these routes. And the one route I want in the game, which I know Matt Peddleston wants in the game, so there's probably a good chance of it coming, is the Brighton main line. That's something that should be easy to rectify. That'd be good then. I, mean, I could, could send a screenshot. Um, I know Matt's on Discord. Um, I don't know if you're on Discord, Natalie. I can send a screenshot over if you want of the um, download thing. I'm joking, best train to exist. 313, lovely. Oh, so we're also getting the 314, which is very similar. Which I'm looking forward to. We want the West Coast Bay line. A bear? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Obviously, I don't know where the donkey's going to be on this route. You might have even seen the donkey. I thought it was a bear. Said what, Jake? What about the Brighton main line? Nah, you gotta love it. Sounds good, Natalie. No, it's um, in the description below, I believe. Yeah, I think it's in the description below. I think. I think it still works. No, I'll put it in the chat. I don't know if I can get it on here. It's kind of scary you can have... Oh, it's all cut out then. It's going to show up. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Nice steady pace on here. 
It's kind of scary that you have a spad on these routes in real life. There's nothing that will deploy your brakes. Not a lot, is there, really? What was your last text? They did have a new train horn to the SD40. I think that's not... I don't think that's on release. I think that'll be after. This, there is a disc version of the game, yes, the collector's edition. What was your last comment, Mr. Adams, mate? You can class TSW2 as horror because if you're going 100 miles an hour and the signal turns red, it's really scary. Yeah, <laughs> it is. What would you rate it so far? What out of 10? Um, I mean, I've, I've only had a little bit of the route so far, but it's going to be quite a high number. Yeah, someone has been impersonating quite a few of the uh, YouTubers in our community recently, which has been a shame. Look at this size, it's awesome. And into another tunnel. Got 65 people in, so thanks all for coming in at this uh, at this late hour. Cheers, Natalie. I'll get that sent over and once this is over. Got 11 miles now. You're still awake? Nice, Mr. Adams. I'm just about awake. It's been quite a busy day today. Well, not a busy day, but a, um, a long walk I did today. Long walk, been out and about. Nice Blue Ridge. I thought I'd say that on the chat just in case the fake British haters in chat, so good, mate. And yeah, um, yeah, there's been a few. I like this new route and how long is the new route. This route is. In total, I think it's 55 miles, if you include all the branch lines. Uh, I think the main running, sort of main line, is about 30. Yeah, Pete. Yeah, someone's been doing me. I was going to say you look tired. Yeah, sure am. It's a new TSW route. Can't be sleeping. Welcome back, Jake. I don't know, how you doing, David, mate? Right into another tunnel. I'm very tired, I'm trying my best to stay awake, so if I fall asleep, I'm sorry, that's a good word. I mean, I wonder if Amanda's still in the chat. She said she probably would fall asleep. Is she still there? I've got some sort of um, roadway here, so the AI traffic going along. Is that one of the coal trucks as well over there? Quite cool. I'm using iron brew to stay awake. Fair enough, Jake. Had a nice cup of tea before I started. I think a free one for it. Don't know if that's a problem which could be sorted, uh, but yeah, if you look at the tunnel, and sort of, yeah renders in quite late, sort of the smoothness of it. But that might just be a console thing. How many more have you split? Oh god. I got a megatone from a triple two earlier. Awesome Jake. It is nice Pete in it. Get it down the tad. Get the brakes on. 
Hello Chris, how are you? I mean, look at this, though. this is really nice. And also we will be on this later once the stream is over. We'll be doing a bit of time on it. Let's try and get a flyby shot. Wait for the train to be out of the tunnel. Yeah, thanks for coming in, Natalie. Much appreciated. Yeah, brilliant job with the route as well. Loving it. Um, yeah, take care and rest easy. Yeah, thanks for coming in. I'll see you again sometime. I'm waiting for this route to come out. Awesome, Chris. Yeah, I know you wouldn't, I should be. I know you wouldn't. Hello, red train. Also, I wonder if, if we have got a caboose in the back. We do, we've got a caboose. We'll have, we'll have to have a look at that at the end. Hello, Jess, how are you? Sounds good, Natalie. I'll oh, get them sent over um, at the end. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Awesome. And into another tunnel. That sound awesome. That's all good, Jess. Of old people, eh? Well, uh, thanks for uh, popping in, Jess. Take care. Still mine. We've got 9.2 miles. Alright David. Let's see, so we're about halfway. Yeah, we're only about halfway. That seems to be all downhill if you're going to uh, Elkhorn City. How many gigabytes is it? It is 2.37 I believe. Or was it 2.9? It's about, no, about 3 gigabytes. Caboose is crying out loud. Someone said that, alright, oh said it is the fake Richard, yeah, the fake Richard is a fake me, fake Pete, fake Amella, yeah, not good. Let's get a flyby shot, if we can. Probably not, because there's another tunnel coming up. Yeah, really enjoying this so far. Brilliant job. And I think we probably will probably end the stream once we do get to um, Elkhorn City, which is still probably around 45 minutes away. Seven miles. Is this your new favourite road? No, I wouldn't say it's my favourite route. My favourite route is either South East and High Speed or East Coastway, one of those two. The tunnel limiter has been removed. Hmm. Old. That's why I just went through that thing there. That's why we went through it. Nice to Norfolk. Obviously a big thanks to the 64 people who are in. Can we try and get up to 70 likes? Or 
Yeah, I do appreciate everyone coming in uh, this evening, this morning, wherever you may be. Uh, obviously, yeah, we do do train sim well so every single day. So if you do want to see more, do subscribe, it does help out. And even do check out our merch store. So at the moment, we do have a limited edition F7 top, which is available in multiple colours. It's all hand drawn. And also an F7 mug. Obviously, if you want to have your tea or coffee from it. No, you won't get banned, right? don't get much action points for this though, we've only got about a thousand, this is around about 45 minutes of service. I want a fly by shot, it's not letting us out. Seven. That's awesome. That's an added sleep. Four days to go for you. Four days to go. So what, David? Was that until you join us on a stream, David? If it is, yeah, can't wait, mate. Seven point seven miles. Hello, Carl. How are you? So you got a haircut? I'm having my haircut. In part. Oh yes. I suppose that's when the hairdressers open up. I'll probably give it a few a few weeks more. Probably got another tunnel coming up. If that dynamic brake gave out, your brakes would be on fire in no time. Most likely, Fern. Probably be a runaway train, it would, bad things would happen. Give Clint Shoulder Road. Oh, you give Clint Shoulder Road a 9.5 out of 10. Well, that's a very good rating, you would have asked. There's my first run on it. So far, scenery wise, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, scenery wise, 8 out of 10. It's really good. Can't need more stuff. Nice, um, day. Well, we still haven't gone across any of the sort of like massive bridges. I think they're up towards Elkhorn City, I believe. It's like a big, um, trestle bridge. Let's get that on. So yeah, who in the chat is going to be getting this tomorrow or today, and who's going to be playing this? And what are you, what loco are you going to drive first, the SD40 or the F7? Fair enough, in with the box. I mean, it's a freight line, so it's not going to have many services. Seven, you're not Carl, I see. You pre ordered it, awesome, Anthony. And how you doing, Anthony? F7 first, F7. I thought that might be the answer, F7 more. Let's have a look, where are we? So we're almost coming on to the sort of last section now, which takes us up to Elkhorn. But we've come down from here, so we're about two thirds of the way. Let's 
get that off again. Yeah, we've got 57 people in there. Thanks all for coming in. Obviously, if you do want to see more daily train sim world two streams, do subscribe. Obviously, we do get every DLC through the lovely channel donations. Obviously, through revenue we do get from the channel. So yeah, thanks to everyone who has contributed, and even by watching your contributing, it's much appreciated. That's time for this sleep. Very enough entered. Pick a loco SD40, Richard. Awesome, Mark. What show will be? Fairly, yeah, it's a nice horn, isn't it? I believe this comes from an M5. I don't know if that's the Long Island Railroad M5, if that's a thing. That's what first came into my head, at least. It's pulling out. We get a sort of a shot from, uh, I don't know, up here. Oh, M5 is the horn itself. Uh, I thought it came from the actual train, the M5, if that's a thing. Oh, I see. Enjoy the fake donation. So I think the other branch is coming up shortly. I don't know what on this one's called. The Nora? I don't know. This is like sand patch, it's similar to sand patch, but I think it's probably better than sand patch. As a sort of just a whole network. Obviously on sand patch grades you only really get one other branch that comes off and that's for the Yoda uh, mine. On this it's just a whole network, you get this branch here, you get this one here, you get that one there, you get that one there. It's a whole network. The map does look like a tree. Oh, uh, I suppose so. More like lightning to be honest. Does the box cars open? They sure do, Jeff. Make all enters. Nice and wood of us. That beats it. In fact, we'll open it up. Uh, who said about opening it up? They will open it up in a second. Yeah, we're doing the whole route. Um, oh, how long to do the whole route? Well, we started this about 15 minutes in and it's almost one hour 15 minutes now so almost an hour just to do three quarters of it oh, there's the other branch going off yeah it's probably about an hour and 20 minutes oh, I should show up in a second yes we've got 55 um, box cars on this obviously more than sand patch grade which I think is 50 Yes, that's cool, hence it's actually have to try that at the end. Someone remind me to go to the caboose at the end of the service. We still got seven miles, so it's still quite a, quite a distance. Enjoying it though, it's lovely. But it's working railroad crossing on country. That's a good thing, Michael. If we can find the crossing, I'll go to it and see if the barriers go down. But I think on this route, quite a lot of the crossings are unbarriered, basically. You just have to sort of look and hope for the best. You sure can, Entis. Look in Discord, it's important. Let me have a look then. It's important, I'll have a look. I can't fall asleep. Probably another 20 minutes. Whereabouts, um, Evan? So, what, 62 people in? It has been quite a long day, yeah. Right, let's fly ahead. Can we find any crossings on the back of the trains in a tunnel? 
many crossings. Although I think quite a lot of them don't have barriers on here. There's got to be a crossing round here, surely. Is there a railroad crossing? Mm, doesn't look like it. No, doesn't look like it for now. General, let's have a look. Right, David, I'll have a look at that in a second then. Uh, someone was being silly in the Discord server, so I'll sort them out. Yeah, but if you want to delete their comments, uh, mate, that'll be uh, good. Look at this coming across here. Look at this. How many services? That's a good point, Ollie. We'll actually have a little look at the scenarios and services at the end. So it won't be too long. Yeah, Richard, if you can delete that person's messages, that would be lovely. That's right, Mella. Sure is, Anthony. 48 services. There's your answer, Ollie. 48 services on this route. Right, well, then. I'll have a little look at the scenarios as well. There's usually five scenarios which get included in a route. The thing is, what DLC could they bring to this route? Does anyone know? Hey, Osman, how are you? I'm good. Well, I'm very tired. Um, yeah, I'm good. How are you? non barrier yeah. Six scenarios, not even more than. GP7 But it's jolting quite a bit Is I get really scared when it jolts forward and back So I just take a rosa line straight away Because we have the train derails We don't really want going on I have to get that sorted Richard Alright David Maybe for DLC they could do a U36, I'm not really too sure, but they could. Can we try and get up to 80 likes? That would be lovely. Love the glam track. This route takes place in 1976, America's Bicentennial Earth. Also another problem that the date says 2020, which obviously it's supposed to be set in the 76, 1976. Ah, uh, it's not, uh, not for Discord, Amela. I've only made it to that. A few people can do banning. Hold on to something. Ah, 
ഉണ്ടായത് ഞാൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് കോമൺസ് കമ്പിറ്റ് on my way on the seeds to your way <laughs> see from um from Dan to Elkhorn City it all seems to be downhill so I suppose it's gonna be quite a struggle if you're going the opposite direction because it'll be uphill the whole way oh blimey I'm trying it's been a lovely journey so I've already seen it really have enjoyed it. Still the seventh. Uh, yeah, we'll see if anyone does want to help support the channel, we do have memberships, we've got the PayPal, we've got the Super Chat, and we even do have the merch, so we have got the limited edition F7 top, which will be available for the next couple of weeks, and we've also got the F7 mug, which is also available. There you go and um, check it out. Got another coal truck there. Uh, probably not David, probably get coffee, right? Yeah, but what does everyone think so far of the Clinchfield Railroad? What do you think? Does the left arm pull cord work? It does. They both work. How you doing, Graham? Sounds good, Richard. What's that one then? Yeah, it's good. Oh look at this coming across here. Look at that. Luckily, well, luckily, unfortunately, we can't go in the free camera. Does look good. Uh, I love it's mind blowing. Awesome. It's very good. I look forward to trying it at the weekend. Just give an 8.5 out of 10. Very good. Basically, perfect. Yeah. Uh, three miles to get in there. I sure do, Richard. Obviously, yeah. Um, do kick anyone? I'll give you. I'll give. You, yeah, I'll do it now, Richard. Actually, now we've got dovetail games royalty. <laughs> we don't want any um, silliness in there. I was quite laughing. Oh. Yeah, we're slowly getting there now. The thing is, how are we going to stop? I bet we're somehow screw it up. You don't get locked out of tunnels on this route, unfortunately, um, and it's actually a bug you do at the moment. Uh, Natalie has taken it down as a no, so I should get sorted. Please do rate this route overall. I haven't really seen much of it. I haven't seen all of it yet. So far, it'll be quite a high rating. Richard, you don't have the banning power. Oh yeah, I turned not bad, not bad. It's 7.32pm Central Standard Time for me. I'm quite tired. I'm going to take some amenitone before I go to bed. Very nice. 9.5 out of 10, fair enough. Yeah, it's good when it was sad. So we gotta go. Hang on, we're speeding quite a bit. Let's get that on. Gotta go around here and we'll be there. Let's get a fly by.
sure is heavy enough. They are good at them. Very good. I just blow my mind because obviously these don't run anymore, do they, in real life? Apart from the sort of, I suppose, preserved sort of stuff. So the way they've got these sounds so perfect is, uh, is amazing. It is a very long train. 55 box wagons long. Well, most likely they will. Most likely. Yeah, it was that. Fair enough for it should. The thing is what I like about Fenchel Road is the way it's sort of single tracks so you get all the passing loops and you know, all that sort of stuff which I quite like. And obviously it's much more sort of tight to sand patch grade if you get what I mean, sort of in the sort of valleys, the tiny little tunnels. It's like a proper American freight route. It actually runs actually. Oh, I see. What's your first impression, Kenzie says? Positive.
as if there's any points to be set. I think we'll be all good. Yeah, I think we're all good. That's good then. Hello, um, oh, that's Jake. Hello Jake, how are you? Good to have Ashram, good. And can we try and get up to 80 likes? Can we get a like spike? And obviously if you do want to see more daily train some more two streams, do subscribe or so we get every DLC and show it off just after midnight. I will be doing this throughout the day as well. Yeah, not bad actually, not bad. Good to hear Jake, I'm good. Unfortunately, it will kick us back in, but we can get a little bit of a shot from that. services and then we'll look at the scenarios uh, and then we'll be done. And we'll even make a pink F7. Fair enough worthy. Very careful with the throttle here. It's a 1 in 67 downhill gradient. In fact, what we're going to do is then we're going to save it just in case. How long is this route? Uh, we'll find out in a second, James. But if with all the branch lines in crew, uh, included, I believe it's 56 miles. I think the main running line is around 30. Alexander, how are you mate? It does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, 
nice and slow up to it. We've got 55 of these behind and also they can unlock these. But, tiniest bit forward. We can get one more light, can we get up to um, can we get up to eighty lights? Once we've done this we'll have a little look at the caboose and then we'll look at the scenarios and the services and then we're done. Go forward. Move it, train. Oh my god. You have to be right on it. That is just Move. Right now it's not going to move, is it? 
surely that's alright. I'm not happy with that also. There we go. Oh, an hour and 20 minutes for a full line run. Anyway, let's go to the main menu. Uh, no, caboose. Uh, we'll have a look at the scenarios, the services, and we'll also look at the livery designer. Just in case Mr. Speed comes over. It's going to be good, Osman. Right, explore. So you get six scenarios set up, limited power, Greenbrier Branch, Fremont, Fremont Descent, and whatever that one is there, which I can't actually see. So six scenarios, 48 services. Hello, Lewis, how are you? Uh, which isn't too bad. Obviously, you get the SD40 and the F7. Um, let's make a pink one. I know everyone wants a pink one, so let's make a pink one. Where's the F7? Uh, where is the F7? I'll find it on here. There. A unit, I think it is, isn't it? Uh, you call it a new livery. Right, let's edit. And we'll also have a look at the caboose. So, for anyone who wants a pink F7, <laughs> we now have a pink F7. There you go. That's a pink F7. Let's get out of that. And let's have a look at the caboose. Uh, I'm probably going to go off Observer Door once we have a look at the caboose, mate. We'll have a little look at the SD40 tomorrow. Obviously, the SD40 is sort of already in the game, so that's why I haven't really done it today. Right, let's see. Um, ex uh, explore, timetable, F7. We'll do the same one, but this time we we'll go and see the um, caboose. Pink. You want it blue? Had to wait a few more hours. Mm. We got 80 likes, so thanks all for coming in. Can we try and get up to 85 likes? Red one too. Well, let's have a look at the caboose. I don't know if we can teleport to it. Can we? No, we can't. Look at that mighty armor. 7 a.m. Pete, live in it. See you guys, Norfolk. Yeah, see you, mate. There you can. And you can open these up. Get in. There you go. Right, let's get to the bath. Oh, there's a caboose here. Lucky us. Right, so this will be the end of the stream, everyone. So, obviously, thanks all for coming in. Obviously, do check out the merch store. We have our limited edition F7 top. Obviously, if you do get it, do message me and I can give you a shout out. And so we do have the F7 mug as well. Can we get up on the roof? No, I thought we'd get up on the roof then. Look at that though. Subscriber request. Look at this, we can get in here. They can even sit down as well. Which is cool. And you can... Look at this in here. You can go up here. Look at that. That's quite cool. Get up there as well. Hello Francisco, uh, but anyway, that is going to be it everyone for today, well my first look at the Clinchfield Railroad, so positive, um, yeah, really have enjoyed it, it's been good, very scenic, uh, lovely journey, lovely locomotive, it's a challenge, um, a very good route and I'm sure if you are getting it or if you have already got it, I'm sure you will definitely enjoy it, uh, we will be back later on today and we will be doing a bit more on the Clint Shield, we'll go in the SD40, we'll have a look at all the branch lines. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it everyone, thanks all for coming in. Obviously you will find a link in the description to the Discord server and to the PayPal if you do want to help support the channel. Obviously do subscribe if you do want to see more daily Train Some World 2 live streams. We are working towards 3k, if you can help us out that would be awesome. I'll be live tomorrow at 1pm BST, I know Richard is live tomorrow at some point in the morning before me. But that is it. Thanks all for coming in and I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all. Take care everyone. I'm going to bed now. See you guys.